I'm only showing Pitt laying 27 on a total of 40 and a half at five dimes. I don't see any other lines, but if you got an opinion, mm-hmm. let's do it. Oh, oh, I do. So it's, you know, my main mm-hmm. book is, uh, is DraftKings. At DraftKings, they are a 27 and a half point dog. And I will be betting the shit <laughs> out of Austin P to cover this guy. <laughs> Why? <game>. Why? <laughs> This Why? this is a tantalizing spot because because the Pitt Panthers though they are a uh, you know a blue collar lunch pail hard scrapple all those 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 worn out uh, euphemisms analogies that we've all heard before though they're that that type of team this is a team that plays up mm. or down to the level of competition so. Let's let's look at this game. Let's look at this. So uh, some key games here from last year: twenty to ten versus Ohio in the MAC, seventeen to ten versus Penn State. Okay, they 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 put up a fight there. Versus UCF, they won this by game by one point, thirty-five to thirty-four. Versus the Blue <laughs> Hens of Delaware, seventeen to fourteen. Versus Duke. 33 to 30 versus Syracuse 27 to 20 versus Miami 16 to 12 versus Georgia Tech 20 to 10 they won in overtime in overtime versus uh, UNC 34 to 27 um then they lost to BC 26 to 19 and then won in the quick lane bowl by four points over Eastern Michigan this is a team that plays up or down to the level of competition that's at present. Um, like Pickett is a pretty good QB. They have some studs, but Austin P. I don't know if you watched that game versus Central Arkansas. I was unfortunate yeah, enough off. to watch every single goddamn snap. The Governors had a really solid defense. The problem with the Governors was that they um, their long snapper was in quarantine for COVID. So they had some guy who hadn't snapped since high school, uh, snap the ball to the punter, and then there were two major mistakes. If it wasn't for that, the game would have been much closer than it was. It was already a pretty close game until the fourth quarter. Um, their quarterback, Oatsvall, is terrible. This guy can barely complete a pass. But they had some pretty strong, they had a pretty strong running back who I believe was a transfer from Ohio State. Um, and I just think with that gnarly defense, like this is the type of game where Pitt somehow only wins by 10, 14 points. Very similar to SMU versus Texas State or UAB versus Central Arkansas, where teams that on paper um, are in a totally different stratosphere in terms of talent um, just get bogged down. Especially, this is also their first game of the year so i love l o v e the governors here tony and in this you need to ride with me you need to ride with you me know something on the go. it does sound like our best bet 27 and a half points 27 and a half points like where 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 does that come from i mean they they only beat Delaware by three points and, you last know, year. It is, it is a bit weird for Coach Narduzzi's side to be laying 27 here. I mean, they laid 26 to Albany a couple of years ago, um, and they pushed it. It was 33-7. to seven. Um, Yeah. It does sound like a best bet to me. Sure, but at that point, at that point, I... Don't know this to be true, but I'm pretty confident. All but the Great Danes had not already played a game under their belt, whereas mm-hmm. the governors have. Like they, so maybe you can say, like, okay, Pitt has tape on Austin P. Like that's the only angle here. But to me, these kids are now conditioned. You know, they they're they got the pads on. They're used to tackling. Um, mm-hmm. God damn it, they were on ESPN. These kids at Austin P. And they hung in there. Uh, I'm I'm loving this game. 
ba da ba ba ba. This is my. I let's At let's rewind it. This is my best. I love bet. it. Let's go. Governors. Let's go, governors. Dude, dude, dude. I'm not even joking. That's a <laughs> that's totally legit because that that actually has all the feel of a best bet too. Like we arrived at this somewhat organically, and I didn't even think about it that hard. But we don't have a better play on the card than Austin P. Like this is really logical as fuck. Because like Clemson, Clemson's fine, but like that's not a good best bet to give out <laughs> because because the bookie fucking mm, knows. No, he knows. <laughs> like this is he knows. Like this is this the money <laughs> store. <laughs> This is not the money store. Like, clearly Wake is going to do some <laughs> dumb shit or, like, a huge rainstorm is going to happen or something. Like, yeah, I like this best bet. Oh, let's mm-hmm. go Gubs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think the line is going to move in our favor? I am going to anticipate or limited betting about? volume. <laughs> yeah, that's a good guess that's a good guess <laughs> <laughs> so with anything with all the sharp action out there if anything it's more likely to be coming down <laughs> no. oh no Benny and Tony just bet <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> Let's move, move the line. We got some sharps. The sharps are feasting. <laughs> one day they will fear us. They will fear us one day. <laughs> you know. One day we will be winners. 26 and 25 ETS. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers are on my side. That I'm was, a winner. That was a grievous, <laughs> grievous error. That's true. <laughs> All right. Hey, that was a good show. Oh. Um, one last thing, Tony. What do you think about uh, Texas? And, oh, uh, and so that was 42 and a half? That seemed that seemed like a very <laughs> yeah. fair number to me. <laughs> Winning between six and seven touchdowns sounds right. Yeah, like I did you did that you, does, want, doesn't it? Did you, you see that's where you a loser. If you came out with the minors, I would be off the res. I am not taking the points. <laughs> no, I mean they're like uh twenty something percent ATS. Um, in the last six six years or something, five years. Um, so I'm I'm looking to lay it with Texas. The thing is that Texas just doesn't do mm-hmm. that. They're not like Clemson. Yeah, it's not really top. So Herbert they don't style, they don't put up it? a lot of points. Yeah. They'll put up like exactly. And you think, as I mentioned before, like the Big Twelve is wide open. They're probably going to let the backup start come the second half of the game. You know. So I'm I'm tempted. This this might be something that I play towards the end of that's the day. What's up. Depending and that's on just the reality of gambling. A lot of this depends on how many drinks we've had. Mm-hmm. All right. Indeed. Let's go, Govs. Uh, All right. Okay, let's go, nice. Govs. Tony. Nice, very good show. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, you see fucks. you later, <laughs> you fuckers. Nice. <laughs>